Look at all these. <laughs> Look at all these Atari games that I got from Minus World in Layton, Utah. Why do I say look at them when you can't even see them from this angle? Anyway, I visited Minus World Video Games. Check out that video when you're done watching this video. They had a bunch of Atari games on the shelf. I ended up buying a few of them. And of course, while we were in Layton, I was there because of the Utah Retro Game Expo. In 2024, look out for it in August. If you're in the area, attend the Utah Retro Game Expo. It's absolutely fantastic. Already one of my favorites. Great people, good selection. They had a ton of Transformers and like anime on VHS and stuff like that. Utah is such an untapped market for the retro gaming scene. It's amazing. And this and this expo is proof of that. So then fast forward when the Atari 2600 Plus comes out, I was like, oh man, now they have the 2600 Plus, I should have bought more games from you. And that's when Tracy, the owner and organizer of both Minus World Video Games and the uh, Utah Retro Game Expo, he said, well, you know what? Shoot me your address. I'll send you over a few of the extras that we have laying around. I was expecting like a little shoebox, maybe four or five games. I was not expecting this and this is full. So with that, prove that you're watching it by typing in the word Totoro in the comments, just for fun. That way people who are watching this video was like, why is everyone saying Totoro? That's a <laughs> There's no Totoro game for the Atari 2600. Well, not yet anyway, but we'll see. Okay, so, oh my God, we were just talking about this. Hold on now. Yeah, literally, here it is. Utah Retro Game Expo, sponsored by Minus World Video Games in Layton, Utah. And a huge shout out to both Retrobit and Retro Fighters for helping put this show on as well. I was there at the show last year, and you gotta watch that video as well. Fender Hall, special guests, tournaments, all the above. Canned food drive. Oh, that's right. Yeah, this this is a show for, like, the, the, the person who puts it on, Tracy, he, I mean, he runs Minus World. He's not taking home a penny from this thing. It's all a volunteer effort. Um, he raises food while he's doing it, and all the proceeds that come in get donated straight back into the community. Isn't that crazy? Well, props to him. It's a great show, and I'll support it for life. This is not a uh, Atari game. What is this? All right, that's cool. Okay, um, I already see some hits. And the games he sent are as follows. There are five copies of Combat. One of the best. Super Challenge Baseball. Frogs and Flies. Defender. Football. Now this is American football, not soccer. Real Sports Baseball. Gunslinger. I believe this is like Outlaw. Breakaway, probably like Breakout. Kaboom, a classic. Video Pinball. Dodge'em. Real Sports Tennis. This game's called Target Fun. Brain Games. Uh, Canyon Bomber. Tank Plus. Grand Prix. I'm gonna make some more room. We're about less than halfway through the list now. Astro Blast. Air Raiders. Berserk. Night Driver and Basketball, Demons to Diamonds and Casino. Should we speed up the list? Doing two at a time. Circus Atari, Battle Zone, Vanguard, Outlaw, Barnstorming, Air Sea Battle, Mega Mania, Human Cannonball, Real Sports Football, Spider Fighter, Star Raiders, Surround, Warlords, Street Racer, Real Sports Volleyball, Pac-Man, Slot Racers. Did I just say slot? Oh no, I said Street Racer. This is Slot Racers. Basic Math, Indy 500, Bowling, Othello, Stampede, Freeway, Pitfall, and that is far more Atari 2600 games I could have ever imagined somebody sending me, but thank you, Tracy. Oh, I want to show you the quill trick with the Activision games too. Hold on. I grew up with the 2600. I did not know you could do this. You see, Activision games have a little slot right there, and on the back side, there's a little notch right there. So because of that, you can actually stack your games and they'll kind of fit into place, almost like puzzle pieces. So when you do that, they're kind of, you know, a little, little bit more shake proof. I just thought that was so cool. I never, never once thought about that. <laughs> Learn something new every day. I'm sure they mentioned that in the manual or something, but I've never known that. There's some great games in here. There's some classics. And if you've seen all these games before, well, thank you for watching. I appreciate that. I have it linked in the pinned comment. Make sure you check out the video of when I visit Minus World and when I attended the Utah Retro Game Expo, which is right here. The, that one. 